Okay, ready? Now we're going to do the proof of this lemma. So let's start with going one direction. So we're going to start by saying, hey, for any linear system, right, so any for any solution, um, let's see, uh, so for any particular solution, right, so it's for a linear system and any particular solution, the solution set equals this, okay? So let's start with going with, uh, it, let's go one direction and let's assume that um, S solves the system. So let's start, well, let's just, yeah, let's just start with this. Okay, so proof, so let's assume S solves the system. Okay, then oops, then we know that S minus P Um, it, oh, satisfies the associated homogeneous system. Why is that? Well, because we, are, we already know that P is a particular solution, and we're, and we're assuming S, this other vector, is, is a, solves the system. So then this way, this has to solve the associated homogeneous system because if we take um, um, each uh, equation index i, right? So if we take each one of these vectors and we take the index equation for each vector, then we get what? We get a sub um, 1, uh, com or excuse me, a sub i comma 1 uh, times Oh, not P, S. Times P sub 1. Or no, sorry. No, not P sub 1. Uh, times... Yeah, S sub 1 minus P sub 1. There we go. And then plus A sub I comma 2 times S2 minus P2. Plus dot dot dot. Plus a sub i comma n, right? Times s sub n minus p sub n, right? So this is, again, this is just a particular equation in the system. Right, so if we take this, this linear combination, right, 
And what do we find? Well, if we use our uh, what we know about uh, vectors, right, that we learned about vectors, then we know that this is equal to a sub i comma 1, oops, times s sub 1 minus a sub i comma 1 times p sub 1 and so on plus dot 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 a sub i comma n times s of n minus a sub i sorry a sub i comma n times p sub n right of course if we keep going then what's that going to be equal to that's going to be equal to uh, a sub i comma 1 times s sub 1 yeah plus dot 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 plus a sub i comma n times s sub n minus the quantity and then it will be the same thing except with the p so it would be a sub i comma 1 uh, times p sub 1 plus dot 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 plus a sub i comma n times p sub n. Now, here's the thing. This, right, what do we say? S is a solution. It solves the system, right? So what's the solution to the system? Let's call it d sub i, right? Because we're talking about the ith index. So let's call it d sub i, right? So let's continue it up here. So then what does it mean? It means that this is going to be d sub i, right? This is going to equal d sub i, but this is also a particular solution. We already started with that, right? Uh, we're, that was given. So that's going to be minus d sub i again, because they're both solutions to the same equation, the same index equation. So that means this is going to be zero, which, guess what, is a solution to the homogeneous system. Right? We just showed that that's true for all of the index equations, i. Now, just remember, um, s of i, right, s1, s2, just are components of the vector s, just like p1, p2, and so on are components of the vector p. Okay? And so all we're doing is using um, vector... Um, subtraction in this case, if you will, okay? So now, um, we're not done with this part, though. Uh, let's see here. Now, let's, now we want to, exp now what we want to do is we want to express S in the required form, right? Because remember, to be in the set, right, to be in the, the set that they're talking about where H satisfies the associated homogeneous system, right? So P plus H, right? So we want to see, we want to show that it's in the right form, that S can be expressed in the right form. Okay. Well, we are assuming that S solves the system.
We know that P is a particular solution to the system. But, uh, we're, but let, we're saying also saying S is a solution, right? Okay, so let's, let's think about this. So we're assuming S is a solution, solves the system, right? Okay, so that's our particular solution. We just showed that S minus P, the vector is S minus P, satisfies the associated homogeneous system. Now all we have to do is show that S um, has the right form uh, for being in the solution set S plus H, right? So we need to show, we still need to show that S is an element of the set um, of um, P plus H such that H is a solution, I'm not going to write it all out, but that such that H is a solution of the homogeneous, the associated homogeneous system, okay? So we assume that S is a particular solution of the system. We just showed that S minus P is a particular, S minus P satisfies the associated homogeneous system. Right, so then what do we have to do? Well, all we have to do is just uh, write H so let H equal S minus P. Right? If we do that, then S, which equals P plus H then, right? Because S equals P plus H, but H is defined as S minus P. right? Thereby proving the, that direction. So we're done with that direction. Now to go the other way, let's take a vector of the form P plus H. Now we're going to take a vector that's in the set of solutions, right? of that form where S is a particular solution, or excuse me, P is a particular solution, and H is the solution to the homogeneous, the associated homogeneous system. So let's start with that one. Okay, so let's take the vector, right? So let's take a vector.
P plus H, where P solves the system and H solves the associated homogeneous system. So, so it is in that resulting set. Now also note that P plus H solves the given system, right? It also solves the given system. How do we show that? Well, let's look at the index equation again. So let's say this is in a set, right? This is an element of the set. Well, we're defining it that way. I don't want to write it out again. So, so again, we just defined it that way. So let's start with P plus H, where this is a particular solution of the system. This is a solution to the associated homogeneous system. Okay. Now we want to show that this also satisfies the system. Okay. So let's look at the index equations for each one of these. Okay. So let's look at the associated index equation again. So let's say it's for index i, we have a sub i comma 1 uh, times uh, p plus h, right? So again, we're using components of this vector. So this is one vector, if you will. So it'll be uh, p1 plus h1 plus dot, 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 plus a sub i comma n p sub n plus h sub n. Now, let's just do what we did before. Let's, uh, let's use what we know about the vectors. Vector addition. So we can decompose this. So we can distribute this into this, right, all the way down and then group them. So we can get a sub i comma 1 times p sub 1, because it's all pluses, right? We could just use the commutative law, uh, principle and move things around. So we can regroup things. So a sub i comma 1 times p sub 1 plus a sub i comma 2 times p sub 2 plus dot 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 plus a sub i comma n times P sub n, right? So we got that group plus, then we're going to do it again. A sub i comma 1 times h sub 1 plus a sub i comma 2 times h sub 2 plus dot 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 plus a sub i comma n times h sub n, right? So now we have this. Now, notice here, again, P is a particular solution of the system, right? So that's this, right? So if we have P that we've just got, this is, represents one of the uh, equations, right? So for the particular system, that's going to be equal D sub I, whatever that constant is. Now this here, H, as we said, is a solution to the homogeneous, the associated homogeneous system. So that's going to give us zero, which equals D sub I. And there we go. We just showed that it's also in the system. And therefore, we just showed what we set out to prove, which is that what? For any linear system, and for any particular solution, P, the solution set equals the set of all of the sums of P plus H, right? Vectors P plus, plus vector H, such that H satisfies the associated homogeneous system. And we're done. Have a good day.